come in. Toodle, 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 toodles. It's not too dull. It is quiet though. Peaceful. Except for the ever present airplane. Because I mean, you know, everybody needs an airplane to fly slowly over the low elevation at all times. Makes a lot of sense. I mean, you know, you might live in a rural area like Kudal, but still, you need an airplane to fly slowly over you at all times. So we dispatch airplanes to fly slowly over you at all times. Isn't that wonderful? Hooray for America. This video is entitled Under the Kudal Bridge. You know, I'm almost thinking I could go Tartaria on this too, because I mean, how old is this bridge? This looks like Art Deco bridge, you know. It's an Art Deco style, kind of. It's a pretty old bridge. Um, the encasements look like they were forged more, maybe farther back to 1980, but I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But over here, we have rubble. In fact, there's a lot of strange rubble in some of these rivers. And right there, we have the embankment of the old bridge which appears to be not made out of cinder blocks or steel or poured concrete it's made out of stone cut chunks of stone that are rather large not quite that large but maybe this is like an entire stone bridge I don't know <coughs> this uh, area got heavily washed out when Mount St. Helens erupted. You may recall if you're old. <laughs> it looks cool. So, I mean, look at that, look at that old sucker over there. I'm on this side, so I'll see if I can zoom maybe. Some nice, uh, there's some nice graffiti here too. Hopefully, I'm not disturbing somebody living down here. <clears throat> that says. tell what that says, those letters are all merging together. That's crazy looking. Tim and Kirsten, there you go. Congratulations, Tim and Kirsten. A L A L F A L F A Bleach, ever present. Creepy Mickey Mouse and a and a squishy green guy. I love the uh, the skeleton in the spacesuit. I should go on the other side over there. If I'd only got This is a uh, ellipsis seven. We had an ellipsis nine. Ellipsis seven's better. The operating system's faster. I like this stuff. There's lots of graffiti. That 
is some creepy looking shit, right? Is that old man Rothschild? Kind of looks like him. Yeah, that's why I remember that one now. Cause I've been here a few times. <laughs> this is still there. That's some creepy shit. See, this is the content you don't get anywhere else. <laughs> now, how old is this bridge? Because this one's pretty old, but I guess this could have been 80s style. They just decided to put those little accents into the pillars. Well, there's a lot of... Might as well do a closer examination of the uh, graffiti. Whilst I'm here, I don't appear to be disturbing anybody who's sleeping. Cold Boy Winter. I. I would make commentary, but I don't know what to say, so I'll just be quiet. He's giving the okay. The two fingers okay, that's good. Not the 666 okay. Butters, butters, it's butters, that's me. <laughs> nice. One of a three. Big puffy letters. They look like balloons or shrimp. Or just shrimp. what that says. It does look like letters though of some sort. <laughs> All right. And we've got a little scribbly over here but uh, that's pretty pretty boss. But there the bugs are coming out because an airplane is coming so I'm gonna get out of here down the other side here. some old embankment over there. I wouldn't necessarily go to the thousands of year Tartaria extreme, but definitely looks like it's, it could be mid-1800s. <laughs> this area, though, does have a... a let's check these rocks a little closer. You know? Or stones, excuse me. Just like, wh what was there? See, these are megalithic size. And now... Maybe it's concrete, but those are definitely rocks fused out and together. Some sort of. It looks like grout, except grout with like. <laughs> grout with pieces that big in it. And my knee's trying to get out on me now. Isn't that lovely? Now I know an airplane's on. It makes a lot of sense. Let's go with that. Okay, it. It was poured. There's the, 
use the phone line. That's some tough stuff, though. And that, but okay, so what about those, though? Those are stones. I mean, you can tell by their shapes the irregularity of them. The whole embankment around here kind of has that look, too, of. I don't know. I mean, it's stone, obviously, but. I mean, look at the size of this concrete. If you're mixing up concrete and pouring it, and it's got chunks like that in it, that's some big shit. I suppose, I mean, I don't know, I'm not a concrete expert. I suppose that's the type of concrete we can pour. I've just never seen it poured in that monumental of a chunk. And I've been on a more than one or two construction sites and bridges. In fact, I've built bridges before. That was pumpkin steel, though. So. Okay. What we're seeing here is this is... This is the other side's um, embankment. There's that side. And the bridge of whatever nature. It looks like it must have been a stone bridge. Are these the pieces of the stone bridge? And that's what these big chunks of rock are lying all around here. And some of them were just m monstrous like these. And looking, uh, that's not rebar sticking out of it. That's branches. There's no rebar <laughs> that I can tell so far. Those ones right there are just uh, super tricky. I mean, picture a bridge up over us with pieces of roadway or wall or support or something that are that big, and then they're fitted rock. I mean, you can see they're not, they've just been cut and kind of chipped into shape, maybe ground or <laughs> chiseled. And then they're intermixed with this really heavy gauge concrete. I was like injured all day yesterday. It was how ridiculous my left hip was the issue. And today it's a lot, lot better. It's my right knee is doing what my left hip was doing yesterday. <laughs> Feeling like there's fluid on it and it's all messed up. There's this little pink spot there. That means I'm winning. Yay. Tell me that there was a castle here on this <laughs> the end point. <laughs> and the bridge probably went to it because on the other side of that parking lot there's a really raised hill. You can see where it used to be kind of like a probably a road, like a driveway would be, running up the ridge on the side. And I went up there and there's nothing up there, but there's leveled out spots like a house would be there or should be there. There isn't, and there doesn't look to be any remin remin uh, remnants of a house. Of course, that could have been the courtyard in the back of the castle. The castle. Here we are in Castle Rock. This is rock that looks like it came from a castle. Does that mean that, by Jove, I've solved the mystery of why it's called Castle Rock? I've always wondered that. Is there a rock that looks like a castle somewhere? And that's what I thought, so I was always kind of keeping my eye out for you know, some natural formation of rock that resembles a castle. And, and you know, it's, I've seen rock that there's, there's other rock formations around here that are, you know, like, like that over there, somewhat castly, but not like this. Clearly, chunks of rock fitted together. Castle rock. So I'm standing on the remnants of a castle. Or at least the bridge part that went to the castle. With the Tula River as a moat. <laughs> it goes quite the ways around too. This right there is really over there is a uh, very castly looking too. Hmm. Maybe I'm gonna get my feet wet and walk over there. <laughs>